Hi, I'm Simon Swift. I'm the engineering director for ETL Systems responsible for our digital IF product line. At the same time, I'm also the chair of the DIFI specification working group. And I'm here today to talk to you about a digital IF demonstration, which we put together with kind help from the guys at iDirect. This graphic behind me summarizes exactly what we're doing on this demonstration. And without further ado, I'll walk you through each of the individual steps of this. So what is digital IF? Digital IF is the ability to digitize an RF signal and transmit it over fiber as far as or to as many people as you need to. What are the enabling technologies behind digital IF? Well, there are two key things which have allowed this to come together. One of these is the increase of ADC and DAC sample rates. You're probably familiar that if you sample a 500 meg wide signal, you're going to have to do that at at least one giga sample per second. That's a fast ADC. Then when you think about what you're going to do with that data, you're going to take out 16 bits, times that by two for I and Q, times by a giga sample per second, you're suddenly into a lot of data. So the other half that enables this is a very fast ethernet interface. Certainly when we started this project, we thought 100 gigabit per second, no, people aren't going to go for that. Now we're seeing requirements where we talk about 100 gig ethernet down each side of the rack in a redundant configuration with a 400 gig data concentrator on the top of the rack. In terms of specifications, we've taken the exact same specifications that we'd use in any of our RF switch matrices or our RF over fiber systems because basically we're doing exactly the same thing. We've got some benefits to digital IF. One of these is signal quality. And this is, this, is, this is huge. Whatever you do to an RF signal, you never make it better. You can make it bigger and smaller, you can move it around in frequency and switch it out. But you never make it better. It's called noise figure. With digital IF, you manage all of your signal degradation right at the start. So suddenly, ADC and DAC parameters of bit depth and sample rate become really, really important to your signal quality as you go forwards. Now on to the demo. What we have here is an IP camera, a laptop to provide some extra data, all linked in with a switch into an iDirect 5010 modem. Thank you to iDirect, by the way, for all your support with this. What we're doing here then is modulating that signal at 220 megaboard, which results at 20% roll off in a 264 megahertz bandwidth output. That in turn goes into L band, into one of our digital IF boxes, and gets transmitted along this optical fiber into our second receive box here where it gets reconstructed by the receive digitizer, comes out of this cable through a splitter and into both a spectrum analyzer so you can see what's going on and into the iDirect modem which in turn is pushing it into this laptop which is using VLC player to reconstruct the video system. Okay, so why are we doing all this? What's the point in all of this diff? What benefits does it bring? Well, firstly, virtualization. What's virtualization? It means modems can exist in the cloud rather than as pieces of hardware. Why is that helpful? Well, it moves the whole modem question from being one of CapEx, when you upgrade a modem, to one of OPEX, and the ability to stand up modems on a standard x86 compute platform as you need to, depending on what theater, depending on what compatibility, and the number of modems you need at any one time. In with virtualization, we talk about virtual instruments, such as spectrum analyzers, where we can look 
at the spectrum and monitor it from any part of the network. Diversity applications. We often use RF over fiber into diversity, but this is sometimes limited by the cable loss with RF over, fi RF over fiber. When you're going through IP, you no longer have that same degradation. Think of a system running up in the tropics. You've got potentially a 30 dB rain fade. You can mitigate this by putting antennas, say, 80 or 100 kilometers apart. Definite benefit there for diversity applications. Security. When we talk about military applications, we can actually have all of our sensitive equipment behind the fence, behind the line, possibly even in a different country. We can remote an antenna, because let's face it, if there's going to be a, a kinetic strike on an installation, radio direction finding is one of the ways to target that. Finally, this is part of our Genus ecosystem. The Genus Digital allows us to mix and match with different frequency converters and other parts of ETL's Genus ecosystem. Okay, so now you've seen Digital IF up and running in our demonstration. We've talked about the benefits of Digital IF. And now finally, iDirect and ETL would be happy to talk to you at any point about how we can use Digital IF to satisfy some of your requirements.